guys welcome to video number five of my preparedness series uh, I just wanted to uh, make a little video and show you what I got today uh, it's a military gun belt uh, nylon uh, plastic buckle in the front I'm not really uh, too uh, happy with uh, plastic having a plastic buckle I'd rather have the uh, metal clasp but I guess that's okay I was actually hoping to use one of these two holsters. Uh, this one's just a 40 caliber Blackhawk um, holster. This one right here, I think, was for like a nine millimeter or something. It was for a smaller caliber. Um, actually, I had to stretch the shit out of it for it to work. I had to uh, soak in a bunch of water and stretch the hell out of it for it to work. But actually, the gun fits really quite nice now. Um, I, I thought that this would be a better option for in my um, 72 hour bag rather than having this behemoth. This thing is a um, Sam Brown duty belt. So uh, the police use these, or they used to use the leather. I think now they use nylon. Um, but um, it's it's really heavy. You put the the gun on there you know with your extra ammunition and you have your pepper spray your baton your you know your taser and all that stuff on there uh it gets quite heavy and and um uh, i'm glad i don't do that job anymore um uh, mainly because um it was causing a lot of back problems in my back i used to be a security officer at a, a casino so um yeah I mean, I, I still have like all my other my other weapons and things like that that I had on my belt and stuff for my other uh, for my other job. But um, I'll do another video as far as uh, defensive weapons and maybe some I'll throw some knives in there and maybe my gun or whatever. But uh, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you the uh, the gun belt and uh, if you guys have any suggestions on holsters let me know because this with this little ass opening is not gonna fit over that it just it's not gonna happen I tried it's it's uh, way too big same thing with this one it's uh, really not big enough to uh, fit over that big ass plastic buckle and I'm afraid of breaking the buckle um, trying to get the holster on there um, I know that, that the military holsters are quite pricey. They're over, they're over a hundred bucks and I really didn't want to go to, you know, that much expense, I guess. But, um, if I have to, I will, um, just trying not to do that because I'm just like everybody else, man. I'm on a budget, so, um, can't be out spending all kind of money. Wouldn't, wouldn't really make the wife too happy. And you know what they say, man happy wife happy life so that's just uh what i'm looking at if you guys have any suggestions on maybe where i can get a small uh, a uh, lower priced holster uh for this this gun belt let me know um uh, if you have any suggestions i'd love to hear them because uh this is the belt i want to use in my in my 72 hour bag so um I think maybe in, in like the next video I'll go through like all the defensive weapons and things like that that, that uh, I'll be packing in my bag and stuff like that. Um, this video I just wanted to concentrate on, on the, uh, the holsters and, and uh, the gun belts. So. Alright, well, um, remember to uh, like and subscribe and if you have any comments let me know, leave them in the comment block below. And uh, I'll try to get back with you as, as quick as I can. Um, thanks for watching.